Today I want to shed some light on Hanazawa or Teru. As we all know, the theme with the villains and mob is that they start off bad, but they turn good. But Hanazawa has quite literally had one of the best character developments. <laughs> Your rival! Not only has Taro evolved as an esper, but also as a person. He's similar to Mob, but unlike Mob, he could show emotions. He's not as powerful as Mob, of course, but his ability to adapt and just assess the situation is incredible. He reacted. If I destroy those... When we first see Taro, he's attacking the Body Improvement Club and even Mob. Mob doesn't fight back because what Regan told him, never hurt other humans with your esper powers. Depending on how we choose to use them, they can also be deadly weapons. They're just the same as knives. And you know what not to do with them, right? Taro doesn't listen to Mob and continues his barrage of attacks on Mob. It doesn't really do that much damage on Mob because, you know, he's super OP. Eventually, Dimple steps in and tries to save him, but, you know, he just gets one-tapped. We see Teru attacking Mob relentlessly inside the school. He wants Mob to fight back. As you guys could tell, Teru has a bit of a superiority complex. This is where you see Regan's actually a really great master. Whenever Regan told Mob that he's not special because he has Esper powers, that really resonated with Mob to the point where he wasn't using it against other people or he didn't think he was higher than other people. He didn't grow a superiority complex. If anything, Mob thought he was under other people. And this is where having someone by your side and someone to mentor you was very important. Someone just to be there for you. Because without them, you could end up like the Mogamis. You could end up like the Terus, you could end up like the Suzukis, you could end up like the Serizawas. Taro eventually throws Mob through a couple of walls. Mob deflects one of Taro's hits and hits him straight in the head, which makes him go bald, and then he starts choking out Mob. Mob tries to punch him, but it doesn't work because Mob isn't physically strong. Taro eventually knocks Mob out by choking him. For the people who watched the Mogami vs. Suzuki video, yes, I understand Taro made Mob go question mark form too, but what you don't get is they did it in two completely different ways. Taro knocked him out, and Mogami overwhelmed him with his mass amount of power. Mob couldn't handle that, so he was forced to go into question mark form. If you compare Mob getting choked, to this right here, <laughs> you're a little crazy, but I digress. Mob goes into question mark form and starts throwing everything in the air. He destroys the whole building and even throws Taro straight up in the air. But we see Taro is, you know, being all crazy and stuff. This fight right here impacted Taro in a great way, very heavily. Taro took a full 180. He realizes that he's not special, and he realizes that he's not strong at all. Taro becomes a friend of Mob, and he thinks pretty highly of Mob. But who wouldn't, to be honest? Mob has all this power, and he doesn't use it or, like, abuse it like Taro did. You could tell Taro was horrible for what he did. Take away our psychic powers, and we're nothing more than... Kageyama! He gets this wig right here, which is hilarious. One of my favorite scenes with Taro is right here when he meets Retsu, and he just like just straight up destroys him and teaches him like who's the boss. Don't try to fight him! Let go now! Having trouble standing, are you? <laughs> You're so young. This is a really underrated moment because it shows how Ritsu was going down the wrong path, just like Taro was. Here's another moment I like to highlight. Taro versus Shizumaki. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. There are people in this world with abilities you can't even fathom. You're not that special at all. Taro doesn't only say this to Shiz, but he says it to himself. Probably imagine this is what Taro is thinking all the time. In this fight versus Shiz, Taro gets bodied. He gets hit left and right along with the other like eight people. Oh, it's horrible. But it wasn't as horrible as it could have been. Taro adapted very quickly and even found out Shiz's plan, how he's working, how he's operating. Oh, it looks like if he can't detect the attack in advance, then he can't stop it. He's the one who's been cornered here. He starts predicting Shiz's attacks, which isn't any low feat. And it's really simplistic. You rely too much on your powers. Because <laughs> Shiz could predict your attacks, so you predicting his attacks is even crazier. Teru does eventually lose, but he never lost. Like, he didn't go down. I want to clear the air here. Teru does not beat Shiz. Not even in Season 3. I don't know where this is coming from. I don't know why people are talking about, like, oh, Teru could beat Shiz in Season 3. No, he cannot. Okay, it, it wouldn't be close. Yes, Teru has learned a lot. Yes, Teru is very strong now, but to the point of shiz i don't think so people like to say that Teru moves at light speed now that's not faster than teleporting it's not teleporting is instant light speed takes time still well in Teru's case at least because his moving at light speed is a move that he uses so i flew over at the speed of light not a bad trick huh he doesn't move at light speed all the time i can make this a whole separate video or i can say it right now so i'm just gonna say it right now if Teru had prep time he could win i could see it but if he doesn't he's going to lose as soon as shiz turns on mind's eye it's over we've seen him knock out eight people at the same time this would just be Teru, and if he's focusing just on one person his mind eyes become even stronger Teru versus mob fight in this fight it shows you how much Teru has grown again not only did he put the lives of other people before his he was completely happy doing so 
Which is something that old Terra would never do. Old Terra was selfish. Old Terra didn't care about their people. Terra's ability to copy people's moves is also insane. He copied the whip. He copied pyrokinesis. Terra's one of the best characters in Mob Psycho. And if he's not your favorite side character, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Especially whenever he picks out the best outfits ever. Mm -hmm. You know what's strange to me? Does he just intentionally screw over Mob, or is it like, is he not like meaning to? Because I never see Terra wearing those shitty outfits, but he always gives them to Mob. I wonder if that's on purpose. If that is on purpose, I'll be a little weird and out of like character for Teru, but it would be pretty funny. Comment some animes you guys want me to check out, and Teru's a top character, and that's gonna do it for this video. Watch this video if you want to see what's best for you.